Hello guys, we are here today at the Grange Trekking Centre, another Cavago host. We are in the middle of Wales, Abergavenny, I think I pronounced that right. Um, we've got some absolutely stunning scenery today and Sophie and I get the chance to have a ride ourselves on one of the treks. So we have yet to do that and we will start our vlog officially with our glamping experience, um, which is fun. Uh, anyway. Speak to you soon. So we have arrived for our, at our accommodation for the night, which is Sophie's wild idea. <laughs> Sophie's wild idea of glamping. So we are on the uh, Welsh border, but we are in Herefordshire <laughs> and we are glamping. So if you come with us, you yeah, can see inside, we'll give you a tour of our accommodation for the night. <laughs> it won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is inside our little shepherd's hat for the night. You've got a bed up there. You've got a bed down here. And then you've got a chair, mirror, little kitchenette there. Yeah. Room, but we won't show you that. Well, you probably don't need to see that. But yeah, it's pretty pretty cool actually, pretty isn't cool. it, Sophie? I feel like they need to they need to see the outside. Yeah, we'll go and show you that now as well. Look, look at this stunning. <laughs> look at our, our carriage. This is our <laughs> It's a little hat for the night. It's a 1920s train carriage. Really? Yeah, history lesson the so. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I, I can see that actually. Barbecue? And just so for clarity, we are not sharing one of these. We have our <laughs> own ones. Because as much as we are friends, we're not like <laughs> at that level just yet, I wouldn't say. <laughs> no, we're not sharing a double bed just yet. <laughs> right. We've made it to Wales. The hood <laughs> yeah, we didn't come prepared for rain either. No. But we're going to go to the pub and get some dinner and then we will see where we're at. Well, we're not actually in Wales, but we have found sheep. That are running away from us. Am I really that scary? My head up. Maybe you do look a bit weird, Sophie. With your, like you're <laughs> gonna get like mug someone. <laughs> Here we are. At the pub. <laughs> at the pub. For a bit of dinner. Yeah. Let's hope this weather clears up for tomorrow. Neither of us have jackets. <laughs> Neither of us have a coat. No. We clearly thought Wales was gonna be sunny. I know. You've clearly never been to Wales before. <laughs> we were only here a few weeks ago with Barton. I know. <laughs> We've got some serious food to eat now. We've got, yeah. We're not going to eat until tomorrow night now. No, I know. We're not going to need breakfast. <laughs> my cereal that my mum had. That's going to be wasted. You can have it as a snack. We're probably going to be starving after our like four hour trek yeah. tomorrow. Through the mountains, yeah. I know. Fuel up. Exactly. Right, so we've just walked home from home. Well, we've just walked back. It feels like home. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? We've just walked back from the pub. We had a really nice meal, nice chat, and we even met some locals. Well, we met some locals and we even saw some lookalikes. I don't know how many of you are fans of Clarkson's Farm, <laughs> but we saw some very, very similar lookalikes to Jeremy and Caleb. So yeah. that made our night. Um, Anyway, we're signing off for tonight. We're going to go back into our little shepherd's huts and get some sleep for our trek tomorrow. So until tomorrow, guys. See you later. Right. Okay. Around there. Um, did you see it? It was like right. It's kind of in the distance. <laughs> I 
we saw a few hours in the right, okay, so we going to Oh my what? Oh my god. Okay, great no. trekking. Oh yeah, Let's I think maybe go might up be there. up there. Right. I feel like they're stuck. Oh my god. But it's beautiful around here, isn't it? Oh my it? god, we saw, it's stunning. Well, we saw some wild ponies, wild Shetlands, lots of sheep. Lots of sheep. Yeah, I didn't quite realise how mountainous it is. That's lovely. Really and nice. remote as well. But yeah, we'll show you some of that in a minute. So the horses literally just follow along to come in. <laughs> oh my god. Here comes Sophie. My god, they literally just <laughs> follow along. <laughs> That's mad. <laughs> I just opened the gate and they all just followed. That's a lot of horses. Yeah, well we didn't have time I didn't have time to put it on gimbal because somebody got stuck there. Yeah, someone so got we stuck on the road. Waiting for them. Oh, so yeah. then we literally turned around and was like, right, okay, we have to just do it here. Because that yeah, looked quite yeah. nice there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> we've got walkers, we've got horses, we've got whole like Duke of Edinburgh or something, and they've just had the <laughs> shock of their that. life <laughs> seeing these horses come to <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Uh, not some, I can't even speak, it's too early. I'm having a coffee. <laughs> it's not something you see every day, is it really? I know, some like of them just kind of stop and... Of them. I know. They have 42 horses. Really? Yeah. Wow. I wonder which one we're going to be riding. I was just going to say the Palomino. <laughs> what is it without some Palominos? This view is amazing. Look at that. They all just live communally, it's lovely. I know. They're all quite friendly, they're meant to be. You know, you can cuddle their bums, so they quite like them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're so sweet. I love how they live all together and just loose and free, it's lovely. And they, they know their spouses as well, most of them. <laughs> they're in the middle, they're on the right places, they're all in the right places. Johnny is here, he's got Hello. equine hay fever, so he's not supposed Aww. to have hay. So he, Merlin lives there, and Merlin gets a lunch and a breakfast feed. Johnny's trying to get the scraps. <laughs> Off he goes. He's like, oh, well, fine, I'll leave them. How funny. Oh, they're so cute. They're all a bit, bit scruffy this morning. Well, they're happy though, that's all that matters. Yeah. Are they mainly kind of cob types, Welsh cob? Yeah, lots of them are lots of them, but he's, he's part freezing. Oh, wow. He's, he's huge. He is. But he's not our biggest. Really? You've got Bill. Oh, yeah. Right? He's a big boy. And then we've got other horses like Charlotte and Felix or Belgian Drafts. Wow. Look at all of you two. All of you two. All of you. You're big. Wow. It's so sunny today, we're really lucky. Mm. It was after I've shown everyone their um, horses, they brush like you guys have done, get to know their horses, and I show them this demonstration, and then they go and tack up their horses themselves. Oh. So even if they've never touched a horse, it's a really good like getting to know you exercise. Yeah. And the horses have to sort of like actually touch and manhandle the horse. Mm. Yeah, and they guys i'll bring you your horse's tack you come up to the tack room let me know the name of your horse and i'll give you your own set of tack when you come up to tack your horse let you come up from their bum let them know that you're here on the left hand side you walk up to them 
And with the saddle, you're going to come up to their shoulder or up to where the, the mane stops. And then we're going to bring the saddle all the way up and on top of their back and slide just a little bit down. Okay, so you can see here, all of them fit specifically to each horse and it fits just there. You're doing it all the way back, so that's not where you're sitting your bum. Back on side of the horse, just here, you're going to separate the two parts, the head part and the reins, making sure these are not twisted. So, Dolly knows the drill. You're going to get the reins over the horse's giant ears and put the reins all the way down the neck. Then what you want to do is roughly hold either side of the bit, bring it up to their mouths and just let them know that it's there and they will open their mouths. These horses are quite used to it, not all horses are the same, but most of these are quite cooperative. Then you're going to gently fold the ears in and at the front they've got a bit of mane here that's called the forelock and you're going to pull it out, not completely, but pull it out so it's nice and tidy. Okay. So that have like a week or is it kind of... The grain shed, yes. Yeah. We try to only take festivals on six days a week. Right. Unless we're in August. Obviously yeah. that's, that's holiday. And because of bank holiday, we are open as well. So, so it makes a bit, a bit the opposite of the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it works really well Best time for customers to come yeah. and visit. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what a lot of the stuff is. Like, we've adapted over time for what the customers want to need. We've got bigger horses. Yeah. We have an hour ride for very, very nervous people. People are a lot less outdoorsy than they used to be. Yeah, yeah. So we just sort of try to also help them enjoy riding as well. Yeah. It's nice to have something that caters for all abilities. Yes. Like some places they have, oh gosh, don't fall over. <laughs> don't film me falling over, Mark. Ooh, white You've got, You've got some good. interesting so, terrain around here. Yeah, that's fun to so, oh. oh, hello. They won't come in today. If They're you want to cute. go in and film with them, you can. Like, yeah. Aww. Oh, you're so cute. I love yours. They're adorable. He is very appropriately named Muffin. Muffin? Oh. <laughs> oh. So if we go in, we're going to go a bit swiftly because they yeah. think they're coming home. Oh, Christ. Oh, yeah, right. I think they're going to be coming home, wouldn't they? Come on, sir. Ooh, go, go. Quick, quick, quick. Distract him. Oh, God. Distract him. Come on, Muffin. Oh, hi, guys. Oh. Hello. These guys have the best life. Muffin is certainly a character. Hi. You're cute. Oh. What a beautiful place to live. So Ginger's a bit more bolshy. She's in charge of everything. Hello, Ginger. Are you bossy? We're missing a small brown and white one. So we've got this little brown and white one. He's, got a he's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so he's called either Hobbit or Frodo. And then we've got Ginger, Jessie, Moomin. Moomin. That's a cute name. Oh, Are you going to tell him off? <laughs> He's like, let me groom you. <laughs> and he was born absolutely fine. Yeah. And the other two. Thing, isn't it? Yeah, privately owned fast friend. Yeah. Mark, you've got a friend there. <laughs> Muffin. Muffin's like, film me. <laughs> So we've spent the morning here today um, grooming the horses, driving over, which was an experience. Um, quite different terrain than we're used to, and me certainly down south. And yeah, it's such a beautiful place to come on holiday. We would love to come again, you know, just off our own back for a week. Rough camp, wild camp, and you know, it's just stunning here. And all the horses are so happy. I think there's about 42 in total. And they just live so naturally. They live in a massive herd together. And yeah, it's just really, really lovely to see, quite frankly. A lot of the rescues. It's just a beautiful, lovely place to come. It's, it's so rustic. And if that's your vibe, then definitely check it out. The Grange trekking on Cavado. <laughs>
Righty, we are on. Here's Kira. I've got Dolly. And we've got Spangle with us. So we are ready. I think we're going on a two hour trek. Two hour, two and a half hour. Two and a half hour trek um, up and down the mountain. So we will see you very shortly. <laughs> How are you feeling, Kara? I'm feeling good. <laughs> Going <laughs> through the bushes. Oh, we're having a snack on the way, look. Yeah, it's like a drive through. I haven't got my selfie stick. I was literally watching it and I was bringing a camera to <laughs> So we've yeah, had a really good ride. We've just got back. Yeah. Um, I've got hat line because I haven't worn my hat for that long. Mark's never walked so far in his life. I've been hiking, got my hiking boots. <laughs> yeah, so we will be back soon. We're not sure what we're going to do next. Maybe go and have a look at the pods where you can stay if you want to come. But yeah. So obviously the Grange is a place you can come if you want to, you know, go trekking in Wales. It's a great, great option. You can book on Cafago and I'm going to leave a discount code here that you can use to get some money off your booking. So yeah, it's a great, great option. <laughs> you said that last night. <laughs> Is that a um, tombstone? I don't know. That one at the, at the, front, at the front there. It looks a bit like an altar. Yeah. I just wonder if it's a grave. Maybe. Spook it to me. Yeah. Kind of like. I thought you were going to say something there. Oh, no, I thought you were going to say something. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you want to get. The best views, I would say. Oh, wow. This is cool. I got my oh my god, to watch them. They've all got on sweet shows. Wow. That is amazing. That is a view, isn't it? I mean, they all have pretty good views, don't they? Brigade. Oh my god. So these are like the pods that you can stay in as a guest, whether you're riding or not. They're pretty cool. Very cute.
these amazing views as well. Look at that professional angle there from Mark. Absolute pro that is. Oh yeah, the backwards crab. The backwards crab. All <laughs> the angles, Mike. <laughs> have a runaway sheep oh my gosh there's one up there look these are like proper mountain sheep what is going on here oh he looks scared of me uh, i don't know where the other one's gone so we'll uh, i'm sure we'll find him along the way oh pony and sheep so that's it guys, we've done our trek, we've had a look round the Grange trekking and we absolutely loved it. Yeah. We had the best day. Best day ever, I think. And now, yeah. where are we? Hay on... Hay on Bluff, something like that. Hay on Bluff. views are incredible. Literally, I mean, we're going to get amazing. some, we'll cut in some drone footage and we probably already have at this point in the video. But yeah, it's pretty stunning up here. Get out the way. Yeah, can't rival that view. So Random sheep and wild <laughs> horses. Like, yeah. You just can't beat it absolutely and we definitely recommend you guys check it out and if you want to come to the grange trekking we'll leave a discount code here and <laughs> speak to you in the next vlog see you yeah. later